Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial. Today, we're thinking about the end of the school year. I know it's coming up close, and a lot of you like to use these slideshows that have music, music behind it to showcase what you've done that year for the students and for parents. Uh, and there's a really easy way to do it with Google Photos now. They just added it. It's like the old YouTube slideshow creator, uh, except now it's built into photos. So let's take a look. Okay, so now I am on my phone because it's a nice day out and I want to be in the nice outside. So I pull up my Google Photos and if you didn't see that, all I did was I clicked on the Google Photos app. Uh, it's free for Android and for iOS. Now, we have the Assistant down here and we'll click on Assistant and we're going to make a movie. So we click on that and then we have this little blank box. Also, there's a bunch of these preset ones that it looks through your photos and it uses some of the AI. Uh, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning kind of stuff to make sure that it can, oh, I can find this picture of a cat and a picture of a cat and a picture of a dog and it'll make a movie for you. Uh, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to make our own video and we can select up to 50 videos here, uh, or photos or videos. And so I'm just going to go back and we did a breakout EDU not too long ago. So I want to do a video on that. So I'm going to go through and select all of the pictures from that and I'm going to create it and so it's going to prepare the files now it's going to take a few minutes it's going to pull those uh, videos in and so now I can see in a second uh, each picture on this side and how long that picture is going to be displayed for so if I hit play we can see the little bar moving across and we can see that the video, um, the length of the segment, so I can change that. So if I want this to stay on longer, I can make it stay longer. And if I want this one to be shorter, I can make that one shorter. But I can also click this little music icon down there at the bottom and I can use some of my own music, maybe some that my students have made or some that's just some of our classroom favorites. I can use theme music or I can use no music. If you use theme music, this is all let me mute that this is all music that's royalty free so, so if you wanted to take this video and put it on YouTube wouldn't be an issue at all this is all royalty free music that Google has available for you um, there's lots of different ones in here lots of different sounds I'm not gonna play them all for you here uh, but that is how to make a end-of-year celebration awards night whatever uh, slideshow super fast using Google Apps with pictures you've already taken and if you have a shared album where people put photos into that album, as long as you make those photos, if you add those photos to your Google Photos, so let me find one here, there. So this little cloud button with the down arrow, if you click on that, it will actually take all the photos in that album that other people have added and add them to your Google Photos. So then they're on your Google Photos and searchable by your Google Photos search and you can find them on the date that they were taken on your Google Photos. And so that way you can use pictures that other people have provided in a shared album into your slideshow. So I hope that helped. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon and you'll get notifications every time I do a video. And I am hopefully getting back on my track of every Friday being a tutorial video um, and then a couple sprinkled throughout the rest of the week. So uh, have a great week and I'll see you next time.